Kek Lapis, a traditional dish of Malaysia and Indonesia. Kek Lapis, also known as Sarawak Layer Cake, is a traditional dessert that originated from Malaysia and Indonesia. This delicious cake is made by layering thin sheets of colorful cake batter on top O. Each other, resulting in a multi-layered and visually stunning cake. Each other, resulting in a multi-layered and visually stunning cake. The name Kek Lapis translates to layered cake in Malay, which is the language spoken in Malaysia and Indonesia. The cake is often served during special occasions such as weddings, birthdays, and religious holidays, and is a popular souvenir for tourists visiting the region. Religious holidays, and is a popular souvenir for tourists visiting the region. The process of making kek lapis is a labor of love, as it requires a lot of time and effort to create the intricate layers. The batter is made by mixing flour, sugar, eggs, and butter, along with bar. Oats flavoring such as vanilla or pandan. The batter is then divided into different portions and colored with food coloring to create a rainbow of colors. Oats flavoring such as vanilla or pandan. The batter is then divided into different portions and colored with food coloring to create a rainbow of colors. One layer of batter is spread thinly and evenly onto a baking pan, and then baked in the oven until it is set and lightly browned. The process is repeated with each layer, with each layer being a diff. Errant color and flavor. The layers are then stacked on top of each other, with a thin layer of jam or buttercream frosting in between each layer to hold them together. Errant color and flavor. The layers are then stacked on top of each other, with a thin layer of jam or buttercream frosting in between each layer to hold them together. The result is a beautiful and delicious cake with dozens of thin layers, each with a unique flavor and color. The cake can be enjoyed on its own or with a cup of tea or coffee, and is a perfect des. Tea to share with friends and family. Tea to share with friends and family. While kek lapis is a traditional dessert, there have been many innovative variations created by modern bakers. Some bakers have experimented with different flavors and color combinations, while other have incorporated unique ingredients such as chocolate or matcha into the batter. Have incorporated unique ingredients such as chocolate or matcha into the batter. In addition to being a popular dessert, kek lapis also holds cultural significance in Malaysia and Indonesia. The cake is often served during festive occasions such as Hari Raya Adil Fitri, a Muslim. holiday that marks the end of the fasting month of Ramadan, and Chinese New Year, a time of celebration and renewal for the Chinese community. holiday that marks the end of the fasting month of Ramadan, and Chinese New Year, a time of celebration and renewal for the Chinese community. Kek Lapis is also a symbol of the cultural diversity and harmony that exists in Malaysia and Indonesia. The cake is enjoyed by people of different ethnicities and religions, and its popularity has tr. Descended borders and become a beloved dessert around the world. Descended borders and become a beloved dessert around the world. However, making kek lapis can be a challenging task, as it requires patience, skill, and precision. Each layer must be spread evenly and baked to perfection, and the cake must be handled carefully too. Avoid breaking or crumbling. Avoid breaking or crumbling. Despite the challenges, many people have taken up the challenge of making kek lapis at home, 
and there are many recipes and tutorials available online to help aspiring bakers. Making Kek Lapis can be a fun and rewarding activity to do with friends and family, and can provide a sense of accomplishment and pride when the finished cake is presented. A fun and rewarding activity to do with friends and family, and can provide a sense of accomplishment and pride when the finished cake is presented. Aside from being enjoyed as a dessert, Keck Lapis has also been used as a gift or souvenir. It is often brought back by tourists visiting Malaysia and Indonesia as a way to share the local culture and cuisine with their loved ones back home. In addition, Keck Lapis is often given as a gift during 